Hi, welcome to a beautiful day in Chesterfield. Again, it's 24 degrees, but I think tonight we've got thunderstorms and then heavy rain for the next seven to 10 days. Before we get started in the video, if anybody wants any of these t-shirts with a Koi Enthusiast logo on them, just check the link in the details below. If any of you watching are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom corner and check out some more videos. What this video is going to be about is I've got two koi that I've had them quarantined for a couple of weeks and I've given them a bit of treatment to get rid of sores and an ulcer and on close inspection one of them I got a big ulcer on and it is a bit of a raggy koi it is it's got a pop eye that's uh, scattered the skin over and it did have an ulcer but that ulcer has now cleared up thanks to the treatment but the other one that's been in the pond the grey blue one it's still got sores down its side it's no uh, it's not making any difference so what I thought I'd do is sedate it, give it a bit of treatment and then check it out again in about four or five days. I'll just turn the shower off so you can hear me better and knock the air off. I've got two koi in here. One had some sores down the top of its head, which is the orange and white one. You can see from there it looks a lot better. The second one is the, uh, the blue grey type that's got uh, sores down its side and uh, they've just never gone over the last year. So what we're going to do is get them out, sedate them and give them some treatment. Before we get started we need to sedate the koi. Using Kasori Koi Sedate, other makes are available, Mix the ratio of 5 millilitres of sedate to the 5 litres of pond water and agitate. Place the koi in the solution and keep an eye on the fish until it rolls onto its side. Once the koi stops moving, remove the net and with your palms under the fish, gently lift it out of the bowl and onto either a damp baby changing mat or a damp towel. Inspect the fish and decide what areas are to be treated. Carefully place the corners of the wet towel or a separate wet towel over the areas not to be treated so as to keep the fish moist. Working quickly and calmly within a 5-10 to 10 minute window, do not allow the fish to stay out of the water any longer than required. Using a paper towel or cotton bud, carefully wipe and dry around the wound site. Using a fresh cotton bud, apply Kisori Ruffle Wound Cleaner on and around the wound site. Leave for 10 seconds, then repeat. Using a fresh cotton bud, dry the wound site. Spray Kisori Antibac generously to the wound and surrounding area. Pay careful attention to work the solution around any damaged skin or scales, avoiding disturbance to any good scales. Allow to dry for around 10 seconds and then using a clean cotton bud apply a second application. Before this dries move quickly to the next stage. While still wet carefully sprinkle Kusori or adhesive powder onto the wound area.
gently blow off any excess powder. Using a filled spray bottle with neat tap water, lightly mist the wound site and apply a second coating of the orohesive powder. Again gently blowing off any excess powder. This bit should form a clear skin like coating over the wound site. With a gloved hand spray a finger with the tap water and gently smooth over the skin forming to leave a neat finish. This may be difficult. We miss film in the next bit but carefully blow over the area so it semi dries. Then using another clean cotton bud to apply the Kusuri top coat sealer to the formed skin. Blow gently to evaporate and dry the skin area. Once all areas to be treated have been completed, return the fish to the pond by gently supporting from underneath. Ideally hold the fish into the flow of the airstone until it recovers. If the fish is large enough, place the finger into her mouth and stroke the roof area to encourage the fish to swallow and gulp. This allows the highly oxygenated water to pass over the gills, speeding up recovery. You can have a quick look at the sides of the koi, and you can see there's no redness, no soreness, anything on there. Let's check the other side. I think I can get the fish to turn. Yeah, just a little bit of ready flame. Okay, so I think I will do the second dose of it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Sorry it's been so long before I could get the video out, but I've been struggling a bit with uh, a bit of bad health, ill health. Thanks to Becky, my wife, for doing the voiceover on the treatment bit. I've got a bit of sore throat and uh, a bit bunged up, so rather than say if you're struggling to hear what I'm saying, my wife stepped in and used her posh voice and narrated the video. As you can see that one koi is already recovered without even needing the sedation. The other one, I sedated Tret, and after five days it's looking a lot better. So I've done a quick, quick coating of it again and put it back in the water and it seems fine. You may have noticed that I've used Kasuri on this, but there are other medications and treatments available. This is not what you should do or must do, this is what I do. And I got this off another fellow YouTuber that, uh, that treated a few uh, koi that had got scale issues and ulcers, etc. So I thought I'd give it a go and I can highly recommend it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down the bottom end. Please, if you've lasted this long, it must be worth subscribing. Thanks a lot. Happy ponding.